got it, man. It's Jamel with Cooper Refuse in Holland. Got Mr. DeAndre on the lens. We're pulling up to the first job right now. Apartment complex on the second floor. I'm feeling that I may have messed up this time because I ain't bring no equipment, man. We was pressed for time, but we're still going to bang it out. We're going to show you if we made the mistake or not. Man, come on, roll with us, man. And let's get this work. All right, let's go, now, Gentlemen, like I said, I wasn't prepared, so we had to park over there. As you can see, the truck is not there. It is now right here. I'm back right over that grass again. I ain't playing. I got the nephew over here right now. So what we did was we just brought everything out of the, of the apartment. It was on the um, second floor. Got it all out right here. We're going to get it up in there. Y'all think it will fit? Let me know. I know it's going to fit. Let's see if the nephew got his packing skills on. All right, nephew, let's get this work. Got the majority of it up in there. Got the nephew over here. I'm going to see what he going to do with the rest, man. Try to coach men on it. Like I said, it's, it's like playing Tetris. But you know these young bucks, they don't know anything about Tetris. Look, I'm using all back. Be careful, nephew. Use your legs, man. Push that jaw all the way, all the way in the back, nephew. Remember, every inch counts with the pickup truck. All the way in the back. You want to put it like that? Yeah. All right. What you going to go with next? You going to go with that? Yes, sir. Cooper Refuse and Hall and LLC. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, buddy. That's how you're going to go with it, nephew? I'm going to tell you exactly where you messed up at. I would have put that joint. You see that one? The, the base of the Lazy Boy? Uh -huh. I would have put that across. That or either, yeah, move it and put it on top of this dresser right here, right? And then you could put the other box spring right there. Trying to coach more, man. Sometimes you gotta play around with it, but like I said, I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him do what he do, because there's gonna be a time when he's gonna be on his own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now put that, put that box spring. You see what I'm saying? Now the other box spring can go right next to it. And all we got is the table that can go right here on the end, and we ready to rock and roll. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now if you're getting this packing skills elevated to level five, you still got a long way to go though. But he getting that working. Ain't that right, nephew? Yeah. Yes, sir. Only way to learn, the only way to do it is to get out and get dirty and do it. That's the message to everyone that's trying to start a junk removal company. Just get out, out there and do it. That's the message of the day. You live and you learn. At least you, at least you, you were up to the job. You ain't finished yet, nephew. You got a table. All right. Well, I recommend just break, break two of those legs off, and they can just stand right there. Yeah, you break two of them or you can just stand it up right right in this pocket. But he just destructive. See, it's those 2,000 babies, you know. They got they got issues. But it's all good. Get it how you live. But next time, next time, nephew. Next time, nephew. Look, look, nephew, nephew. Next time, when you start breaking all that stuff up, you you can make a mess all over the place. Then we have to double work and clean it up. At least bring it over on the lip of the truck or inside the truck and break whatever you got to break up inside the truck so at least the mess stays in the truck. That's another message of the day. Like I said, man, getting nephew ready to be on his own. All right, baby boy, you still going to break it up in the ground, though, but it's all good. I guess you'll listen later. All right, but we're going to get this up in there, ladies and gentlemen. And we off to the next job. That's good work, nephew, right there. Way to get it in. All right. Job of the day, man. That job that we just did at the apartment complex took us about, what do you think, nephew? How long do you think it took us? Like 20 minutes. 20 minutes, I'll take it. And the dump fee on that was about, um, was like $30. So it ain't that bad though. But we had the second job right now. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna probably take us two trips. Then they got like 15, 16 file cabinets and three drawer cabinets. We're gonna put them in there. She said she has some extra items. So you already know what we're gonna do. We're gonna up the price on that. So we're gonna come back, pick up maybe a load and a half, depending on what they look like. And we're gonna, Bang it out. Bring it all to the scrap yard because majority metal. Get some of that extra cash. Ain't that right, nephew? Yeah. All right, so we're here right now. We're about to go ahead and bang this out. We'll let you see what we got. We're going to do the same thing like we did with the other one. We're going to bring everything out of the house because I, I really don't like when people have animals, dogs, and everything. I got dog hair all over me, cat hair, and they just look like they got some type of animals up in here. So we're just going to bring everything out, load it up, and see what we got. So when we come back, we don't have to disturb them when we pick up the other items that we're gonna leave behind. We just throw it in there, go. 
receive the payment, and we're good to go. So we're gonna go bang this out. We're gonna let you know how we do it. Let's get it in there for you. Second job, like I said, they're all file cabinets. So we got two in there right now. We brought the other ones out. Let me just go ahead and zoom in on it before I help them out. We're gonna be able to get all those in there. There's two more inside the house, but we're gonna put all these in first. Then we're gonna see how much room we got left. And then um, she added on, she got like some papers. Nephew getting that work in, man. Nephew getting that work in. But um, she said she's got like a lot of bags of papers. So I told her like, we'll, we'll go ahead and take that. She um, added on, um, I think a table as well. So we just jumped the price up a little bit. But like I said, man, for, for these file cabinets, it, it was our full load. So we charged them a full load. And like I said, everything's metal. So we're going to go to the scrap yard with that. Then we added on a half load for the um papers and um table. It was two tables. So and a bench, a bench that's outside. So we added on a, a half load for that. So we're gonna go ahead and get this working, man. I got a nephew all here trying to get pumped up. Yeah, we're gonna get this working, man. See how much money we get for that scrap metal. Like I always say, man, scrap your metal. Let's go to get this work, man. I'm probably gonna just show y'all the ending product that after it's all loaded. Just so we get it done, man. It's not hot out here, but the bugs are jumping. But we're going to get it in. All right. We got her up in there, man. It turned out to be 17 file cabinets. We got some drums and everything. And there was some miscellaneous stuff. We just fit in between the cracks. You know what I mean? We made it work, man. We're going to throw the tarp over top of it. Bring it to the scrapyard. Then we're going to come back. Like I said, it was like two desks. Uh, two little small desks and um, bags of paper. Maybe about, I'll say maybe 20 bags of paper we're going to bring to the recycling plant. I'm going to tell you right now, no dump fees for everything today. Even with us taking them two desks because it's under 500 pounds. we getting this work. Ain't that right, nephew? Yeah. He over there slacking, man. He idle. But we off to the scrap yard. Ladies and gentlemen, man, we here at the scrap yard right now, man. The grown man's playground. About to get rid of all this metal right here. You see all the scrappers out here getting it. All pickup trucks, like I said, man. We had this load right here full of metal. Nephew's gonna tie in the top. We're gonna throw all this. We're gonna um take a tarp up. We're gonna throw all this metal out real quick, man. Go back there, like I said, get the the two desks, the bags of paper, and then I'm gonna hit that Burlington off. We'll call it day. I'm gonna chop the nephew off. I'm gonna let y'all know how much we get off the scrap metal, man. All right, let's get that work, nephew. Gentlemen, I'm here at the dump right now. Drop the nephew off. All the jobs we had was on today completed. <clears throat> like I said, we went back to pick up two desks, and it was like bags of paper. I told the lady that we'll grab it. It was extra, so I charged her a little extra. So basically, the first load we had was a full load. Charged them. We charged them 275 for that. Then we went to the second job. I charged them. I charged her a uh, a full load at first and then I added more on there so all together basically with that second load we did I charged it just a flat up rate of four hundred dollars <throat> excuse me so we got that done we charged four hundred dollars and then on top of that we had the scrap metal the scrap metal it surprised me but I guess with all the um the file cabinets that we had like we got seventy five dollars for the um, scrap metal that's why it's very important like I always say man separate that metal so at the end of the day the load my bad the load we charged them for the load four hundred dollars and basically the scrap metal we got seventy five dollars off of it with the bags of paper that we went back to grab we charged extra for and the two desks there was no dump fee because it was under 500 pounds the only thing that we had to pay for was the first load it was thirty dollars so basically first load 275 the 400 we got 675 and then the $75 right there man that's seven what 750 man minus the $30 you got 720 broke the nephew off with a bag man we good to go like I said it's always good to separate those metals man especially when you get a job like that continue to charge your price you can knock a little bit off just in case in case the customer wants to get a little smart on them and be like hey well you can get money for it I'm like me personally if it's a lot of metal, then I'll knock off a little bit. I won't knock off a lot just because the price of metal right now, it's not worth the nails in your tires. So I still charge my regular price. They was okay with it. She said we did a great job. She'll call us back. And I'm grateful for it. 
like I said, man, if you're trying to go out there and do junk removal, get your hands dirty, man. Get out there, try, make mistakes, take chances, and just figure it out, man. Figure it out, man. Know your prices of your dump fees. Know how far the places are from the dump and to, like, know your mileage and everything so you don't get burnt at the end of the day. Also, make sure you got some good helping hands on speed down that you can always rely on and depend on to help you out, man. And make sure you take care of them as well because if you don't, they not going to take care of you, man. They're going to do a fucked up ass job. Oh, excuse my language. They're going to do a job that's not up to par. You won't get that five star. But at the end of the day, man, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and dump this off. I dropped the nephew off, like I said. And I'm going to bang Burlington out, man. But this Cooper Refuse of Holland LLC. If you haven't already smashed that like and subscribe button, and like I always say to everyone that already like and subscribe, it's coming from here, man. I really do appreciate it, yo. But I'm going to go ahead and knock this out. We're going to be on to the next one. Until next time, let's get the refuse on LLC. Let's get this work.